Keeping the momentum and the disciplined format, the Travel Mice Show 2022 edition won the faith of the exhibitors and buyers by providing a distinctive platform to meet and connect. And the kind of response that we're seeing both from the fraternity and from the corporates is that there was this di dying desire to be able to come over and do face-to-face -face interviews with people and meet up with people, reconnect with people. We are getting more and more of uh, international groups and fairly large sizes. The queries are like 800 packs, uh, 1200 packs uh, to Europe and as such queries. So got a few international requirements here as well. Uh, thank you so much for arranging such a, uh, such a good platform for us. The interactions were fantastic. I thought it was very meaningful discussions that we had. Um, the overwhelming sense was that travel is back. We have had a lot of inquiries from people who were not even touching India. They were like they were going to Dubai and all other Middle Eastern destinations or Asia specific. And now they are coming down to India. Yesterday's session on sustainability was, I think, incredible because um, not only for us to learn a lot more for them from them in terms of you know what their company was doing but also like you know the partners that they're working with like you know i come from shangri-la or they're a core team here so how as a partner we are actually behaving ethically so i think it just bring us to you know all together on the same page so i think that's wonderful a lot of people turn up a lot of potential leads for hyderabad and uh, yeah the uh, the enthusiasm of people coming in after two years break, uh, it was good to see. As per the trending current situation, um, the market is giving a good uh, you know, response in terms of rates also. A day is really brilliant uh, to meet a lot of exhibitors and the new experience uh, over with the MICE group. Uh, I would like to thank the DDPL who organized this event uh, in a proper and a professional way. I feel that Corporates have chosen uh, the premium hotels to be the place where they want to be now, more than ever. Uh, why I say so is that uh, now for the fear of hygiene, for the fear of uh, social distancing, uh, the hotels are going to come into the picture and they are the ones who actually have carried off uh, this responsibility off their shoulder very well. We were just uh, the spread in ASEAN countries initially, but then now it's become global. So we, we are looking at the glo global contracts with hotels where the travelers are fas facilitated, facilitated with uh, consistency in, in the stay that wherever they travel.